Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm just trying to do some fall cleaning here uh, this morning. It's Sunday today. I woke up this morning. It was the first time I woke up in the bed here at the house on a Sunday morning that I can remember almost all the time I'm driving back today. So I didn't really, I actually woke up early and I think it was because I was excited I could finally get some stuff done around here. I pulled out the one fence, but the second one I have to leave that in for a little while longer in case Xander comes to visit again because I still have some cherry tomatoes here that are ripening slowly. One of the spindle assemblies got broke on the riding lawnmower and I did have a brand new one. Usually in the spring when I send out for parts I'll buy one just because sometime you're going to hit something and break it. The old one it snapped all of all three of the the bolt things out and then when I tried to get those bolts out they just started twisting off so I'm waiting now for the three new bolts to show up so I can get the mower going. And then I come through here and I mow down everything in the garden that I, I don't want growing anymore or that's died and then uh, I can start tilling everything up. We've had our first minor frost. You can see how the top of these bean plants here that have sprouted up after the fact, they're all dying off. But I'm still not pulling the peanuts yet. They're still growing good. The frost doesn't really seem to affect them that much. I remember that from when I grew them before. The average high for today right here is 64 degrees. We have not had a temperature that's even approached 60 and I think at least two weeks. So I'm kind of uh, uh, losing faith in my cotton plants here. This one right here is so close it's hard but it hasn't turned black yet and then popped open. I was really hoping when I, I was actually up north the day that it frosted and I got a hold of Sarah and she come over here and covered this up with a like a bed sheet or whatever so it wouldn't frost too bad but we just need some warmer temperatures and I'm not sure we're gonna get them. I've got the next load of stuff strapped down here on the trailer waiting to go up to the house. Melissa's uh, wagon thing there. Zachary got me a couple of barrels it can either make uh, into a wood burning stove for one of the sheds or a burning barrel because up there we're like the last house that has garbage service and you have to buy your own garbage can and it's super expensive so some of the garbage I can just burn. The garage door right here, uh, the one that's on the garage that's closest to the house, uh, that one there, the garage door doesn't work. So I found this nice one, 300 bucks, insulated, raised panel white and it came with the garage door and all the hardware, everything. So I had to jump on that right away. So I'm going to haul that up. Hopefully I can get that in before the snow flies. Nelly the dog, I brought her up last time I was up just a couple days ago. Joni's going to be going up with me next time. I just wanted to throw up a quick little update video. If you guys are watching the videos on my other channel, you know I've been busy up there with the house. But for the next next weekend and the following weekend, I believe I'm going to be up at the tent. I like to start my old truck and let it run for 15-20 minutes every week or two just to keep it going. I haven't really driven it around for a while now. I'm pretty sure my dad's going to be going up to the cabin this coming weekend. And uh, I'll go up there also and we're going to go look at his deer stand and get a few things figured out. If he doesn't go up, I might not go up next weekend. Uh, the following weekend I'm going up, Zachary's going to be up there doing his deer stand. Sarah might come up there just getting everything ready for deer hunting. Because the Minnesota deer hunting opener is 27 days away. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. What you doing Smudjo? I'll see you guys on the next video.